They gave the ultimate sacrifice. Six fallen officers from Kentucky are among those being honored in Washington, D.C. this weekend. As part of National Police Week, the names of those officers, along with others killed in the line of duty nationwide, are being added to a memorial. Tonight, they were remembered with a candlelight vigil. Our Sean Moody is in Washington with our top story at 11. There were thousands and thousands of people here on the National Mall, some of them police officers, others family of police officers, others just supporters of police officers, but they all came here tonight to honor them and remember the ones they've lost. Officers from across the country, including many from Kentucky, have been in Washington, D.C. for days now, participating in National Police Week. It's all about supporting men and women in uniform and remembering those who've died in the line of duty. This year we commemorate the deaths of 252 law enforcement officers. Each year the list is too long. That list of 252 officers includes several from Kentucky. Daniel Ellis, Eric Crisman, Cameron Ponder, Burke Rhodes, Clifford Travis, and Blake Tribby. Their names are now etched on the National Law Enforcement Memorial, not far from the National Mall. As the sun set on the Capitol, the thousands of people gathered lit candles. As they paid tribute to the fallen officers, U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch reflected on the sacrifices officers make each day. Every day, the men and women in this nation's law enforcement services put themselves in harm's way in order to secure our communities, to defend our values, and to make real the promise of liberty and justice for all. And National Police Week will culminate on Sunday with one more event at 11 o'clock that morning. In Washington, D.C., Sean Moody, WKYT.